So what will be the difference between a shrine and a church? It's not the building. It's not the ushers. It's not the protocol uniform. And it's not the cars that are parked in front. It's the knowledge of the Son of God. The difference is the knowledge of the Son of God. If the knowledge of the Son of God is not communicated in a place, it doesn't matter how fanciful the building, it's not the church of Christ. The devil cannot impart that knowledge. Apart from the fact that he doesn't even know it. That's the crux of the matter. So even if you see somebody working miracles, before you get excited, find out what did he teach before the miracles begun. If he does not glorify Jesus, then it's a familiar spirit. It doesn't matter how many people are falling on the ground. If it does not glorify Jesus, it's a familiar spirit. Don't forget, false doctrines come with familiar spirits. False doctrines come with familiar spirits. And they also come with lying wonders. They will even copy all that is done where the Holy Ghost is. They will speak in tongues. They will do their abrac abracadabra. They will do all the performances. But it's not God. They will call the name of Jesus. The only thing you will not find there is the knowledge of the Son of God. Why? John 16, 13. How be it when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. 14. He shall glorify me, for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto he you. He shall glorify. If the spirit in oppression is the spirit of Jesus, all the focus will be on Jesus. All the focus will be on Jesus. He shall glorify me. Why can't they reveal Jesus where the Holy Ghost is not? John 14, 17. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, and shall be in you. The world cannot receive him, so how can, how can they operate by the Holy Spirit? And if the Holy Ghost is not there, they cannot glorify Jesus. So it's not the healing that glorifies Jesus. I believe in miracles and I've seen a lot of them in my lifetime. I still see them all the time. But the knowledge of Jesus is what you come to get when we gather together to worship. The knowledge of Jesus. So by the time you leave the service and you go home, you're just full of Jesus, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah. They can duplicate everything minus the knowledge of Jesus. You know, one of the signs of the Antichrist or one of the signs of false prophets is that they will do signs and wonders and they will do it in his name. They will do it in Jesus' name. <laughs> That's why it's easy for gullible people to be caught in the trap. They will do it in Jesus' name. But they will not preach and they will not teach Jesus. He didn't say on that day they shall say in your name I preached. In your name I taught. He said they shall say in your name I healed. Look at it. Matthew 7 22. Many will say to me in that day. Lord, Lord have we not prophesied in thy name? Have we not what? That's why now it looks like the only gift of the spirit across Africa is prophets. Everywhere you turn is prophet from major to minor prophets. Major one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, minor two, three, four, five. They're all over the place. Because that is one of the cardinal, you know, signs of false prophets. Prophesied. Next one. And in thy name have cast out devils. Cast out devils. And in thy name done many wonderful works. Done many wonderful works. Next verse. And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. You will see in your name we taught the word. In your name we preach the message. No, they don't have it. 
they don't have it it's exclusive to us that are born of god they don't have the holy spirit you can't teach the word you can't unveil christ you can't reveal christ but by the holy spirit but you can do signs you can prophesy you can heal the sick without the holy spirit So it doesn't matter what signs are happening in the place. What you should be looking for as your indicator is how much of Jesus is revealed in that place. They cannot receive the spirit of truth. <laughs> Give me the next verse. You'll love the next verse. Yeah. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon Not a rock. Not whosoever seeth these wonders of mine. Not whosoever seeth these wonders of mine, I will liken to a wise man. Whoever heareth these sayings, teaching, re revelation, the preaching of Jesus, him shall I liken unto a wise man who built his house upon a rock. That is where things differ. Because it's not the crowd that is the yardstick for the presence of God or God in a place. It's not the crowd. It's not the fancifulness. It's not the excellence. You know excellence. You know excellence. Excellence. In quote. All the ushers are dressed and they are holding rose petals. Everybody coming to church. They are putting rose petals on you. Excellence. Some are holding perfume. Phew, phew. Excellence. That's not what makes it a church. It's the message. Even if you are sitting under a bridge and the message is taught, that is excellence. Our own excellence is defined by the message. So people looking for miracles, you can't call them believers. Because they don't even care about Christ. Amen.